So, Living in Harmony um, uh, project is the first multidisciplinary research to enroll linguistics, ethnomusicology, and oral history in a joint and urgent effort to preserve and explore the endangered Judeo-Arabic culture. It focuses on the Baghdadi and Halabi communities and relies heavily <coughs> on the experience and memory of the last generation of Jews to live in these cities, most of whom are now in their 80s. The study covers both periods, before and after Jews left Arab countries, mostly during the early 1950s. Arabic music constitutes a major component in the lives and identities of Arab Muslims and Arab Jews. It mirrors the extent to which Jews were immersed in the wider Arabo-Islamic culture, highlights their contribution to the Arabo-Islamic cultural milieu, and hence reflects the relationships they created with their host society. So Arabic music is the platform on which their Arabic uh, culture is explored, and the focus is on Jewish-Muslim relations um, and the wider historical, religious, and cultural context of this study is the Arab Islamic civilization, which was a source of inspiration and growth for Arab Jews for centuries, and to some extent, even now, long after Jews have left Arab Muslim countries. I will present now one <laughs> central aspect of my research and demonstrate its core essence with a musical example. Both Jews and Muslims of the Middle East share an ancient practice whereby religious texts are written to melodies of known and popular Arabic love songs and are sang on various occasions of religious significance. Furthermore, the melodies for both the Jewish and the Islamic text are taken from the same repertoire of Arabic songs. We still don't know when this practice started. But according to what I have discovered so far, it probably began around the beginning of the 10th century in Abbasid Baghdad, when religious poetry was shaped in a form and style which facilitated the singing of, rather than the reciting of these texts. Through the following musical example, I wish to demonstrate the strong <laughs> historical, cultural, and religious kinship between Jews and Muslims of the Middle East and the extent to which these similarities are still living and breathing among their respective communities everywhere. And now to the sounds. So this is the original Arabic love song. Ah, Ya Helu, Oh My Sweet Beautiful Beloved One. It is written in the classical and quite ancient poetic style called Muashah. The name of the poet is unknown as the following two songs that I will show. We don't know the name of the poet and the identity of the composer is debated. However, I tend to believe that it was probably composed by the 19th century Egyptian. E we are now again with the Egyptian element in our day. Um, the 19th century Egyptian Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Rahim Al Masloub, who was a leading and most gifted musician and Quranic reciter, uh, well known across the entire Arab world. Uh, one thing is certain that the melody is written in maqam, which is an Arabic musical uh, scale, uh, which is called bayat shuri. We will hear um, uh, this song performed by uh, Sabah Fakhri, who was a Halabi born, uh, renowned singer, who also had a long experience in his early life as a Quranic reciter. <laughs> Now, uh, to the Islamic religious song, uh, this love song turns to be a love song for Allah and is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, shaped in a form of a religious song called Nasheed. 
and carries the title Min Rah al Hub. So we have here the translation, and now we're going to hear uh, this nasheed performed by a superb Halabi group of Munshidin, which are religious song singers. <laughs> Uh, and now to the Jewish religious song, inspired by various biblical verses, uh, particularly from the Song of Songs, this beautiful song to turn to be a love song between God and the people of Israel. Yefat Ayn Libavtini, your beautiful eyes captured my heart. We are still in the realm of love, which is fantastic. The genre of this Jewish religious song is called by the Baghdadi Jews, Shbach, and by the Halabi Jews, Pizmon. It's a very ancient uh, genre, um, and I warmly recommend that you will read my upcoming book, Judaism and Islam, One God, One Music, which will be out uh, early next year. And there, there is a, a very um, de detailed history of this very ancient genre. So this text can also be understood as a love song for a beautiful and adored woman. Hence, it is performed during the celebration of the birth of a newborn baby girl and dedicated to her father when he first announces her name in the synagogue. So, and now we will hear uh, Moshe Habusha. So Moshe Habusha is um, who he was born in Jerusalem in 61 to parents who came from Baghdad. And he is the most important uh, Arab Jewish cantor and musician known today. going to be with us uh, next year, so literally stay tuned. Thank you very much.